What's up, guys? Metrics Mike here. Video three, going into a third NFL model from this book, Statistical Sports Models in Excel. This one looks at the Z-score standard deviation model, comparing team performance to the mean and standard deviation for league scoring at home and away. Let's get into it. This model is another slightly different way to model the NFL using the z-score deviation gives us team performance not only home and away but also in relation to league average which gives us a lot of flexibility in comparing how these teams stack up against each other all right the main formula here is in column H actually half of the formula here which is the home half so this one we're looking at O2 which is the home adjustment factor up here plus the home rating minus the away rating win away. So segmenting each of these different categories. Column I then applies a logistic function. You can see the formula here. Column J then converts that into a Z-score. Column K, estimated home points, takes the Z-score combined with the average points and standard deviation to produce a point estimate for this home team. And you can see the formula, similar. And then column L, measures the difference between our forecast and the observed values and squares that difference. And then finally we move up here to L2 is going to sum the square of the errors which will be important for solver. And then starting in column M we're going to do the same thing for the away team the exact same formulas there culminating in the sum of the squared errors here in M2 and then N2, we're going to add together the two, some of the squared errors. And this is what we're going to give to the solver to optimize the team ratings for in this model. All right, after that, we're ready to configure the solver. So once again, data tab, click on solver. And we want to minimize the sum of the squared errors, which is cell N2. Minimize by changing the team ratings here. Team ratings again right now have dummy ratings, but AB5 through AC36. AB5 through AC36, O2P2, which is the home adjustment factor and the away adjustment factor. So we'll let Solver go to work on all of those. When it's ready, configured properly, go ahead and click Solve. And after a moment, you will get the answer. Scroll over, here we have the new team ratings. Once we have these new team ratings, this is my favorite part, we're able to run the linear regression again to map the expected margin of victory, which is column R in this document. Map that to the actual margin of victory, which is G, to get our coefficients for our projection formulas. So let me do that really quickly. Data analysis, regression, I'm going to change this G to an R, change this to G. Once you have that configured, go ahead and click OK. You know the trick. What we want, same thing. We want the standard error. Copy that one. Bring it in. Model error. Put it in its place. And the intercept, home margin of victory, coefficients, put those in as well. There we have it. And we are ready to use the game predict function. Same thing as we've seen. You can watch the first three videos if you've suddenly skipped ahead. But using the same formulas, you can change the team that you input here. And you'll get the estimated uh, point spread and the estimated win percentage. Then there you have it. If you want to download these Excel files to experiment with on your own, go ahead and check out the links below.